Look how cute that bubble is. We did it with spray paint, and I'm going to show you guys how we did it. So. Hi, Miss Ma'am. Well, it's cute because this, I did that dot, and it has, like, like some. Aqua on it. It looks like you're already doing it. Hi, Susan. How are you? So, as soon as he's done playing with this bubble, I'm going to show you guys. Boobel. Boobel. We're going to put a whole bunch of bubbles on this big old board. We'll just do, it's like, this big. Sizes just to kind of show you. Cut out the bottom of them. Cut plastic, paper, whatever. Um, we're using spray paint right now because that's kind of what everybody has. Spray paint. Um, at the end, we'll get some airbrush just to kind of see what it looks like to make it look like a real bubble, how it has that oil. Mm -hmm. It looks like a little oil slick. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it's going to look. I've never done that. I know it's a bunch of lines and like when it's done raining and you go out on your huh i was waving people oh, are saying you, hi you go out on your driveway and there's like a little oil slick yeah and then that's what bubbles look like yeah it's, it's got like, that like rainbow yeah so stuff um, this is just the basic just get a flat white how are you feeling clara can you guys hear both of us okay because we both have the new mics on We have the window open. If it gets too much, I might have to put that little face mask on. But basically, all you're going to do, put your cup up. You're going to spray one down, one up to the top, and then kind of do like a, a bigger one there. Right? Okay. <gasps> Look at that. So bubbly. Bubbly. Smaller one. Do you know how long it would take me to actually have to paint a bubble? Oh, look at this. This is what I want to try to do, too. I want to try to do, like, a like a one that's faded out. Okay. One spray bubble. Look at that. It looks a little different on camera. I don't know. Let's, um, hold on. Right? Everybody's like, what? You guys... It's my new favorite thing. And you can do it in all kinds of sizes. But if you work you have to be smaller, careful. you have to be very... And it's easier to do when you have specialized... I think this cup is a little... Caps. That cup is a little bent, so it's a wonky... Wonky bubble. So basically what he's doing is... On this one, he's just doing one... But on the other ones, he's doing like on the sides... And if you and if you don't feel comfortable doing it a lot, you you might you might think, oh, you know, I'll do too much. And this is like a perfect little one. Just take your take a white Posca pen or a paint pen, and just put a little, just a little dots. Oh my goodness! If you put a bigger dot on there, it was very it would have been very yin yangy. I was gonna say, aren't you gonna do any of the like? I need to look at a dot because I I think that's. Let's try this big, let me try this big one here. Yeah, and just hold it up. Don't don't pinch it because then you're gonna Change end up shape. looking like that. So we'll just do one over here. So see how he's just aiming for the wall and he's letting it the spray paint bounce off the wall and onto the buble or bubble, however you English. It just looks so different on camera. Well it's pulling the white up more. So yeah, he's gonna do it again. He's gonna aim at the bottom of the cup and then at the sides right of the cup. Here. And then one down here. Oh. 
That looks a little better. I'm just, I'm already excited for when you add color to it. I don't know if I like those dots. I think just doing that. Well, it's not just a dot on a real bubble. So it's like, try to put... it's like more like this. It's like line, dot, dot, line. Let's just put just like a little bit of and we're going color blue. this is a little cool Do I just a little mm. Mm. not so much i think you should put airbrush over that one just like well, let's just see what airbrush does do you want me to hold a cup for you like you can hold it I mean, with airbrush, it might be a little bit different. I don't know. So, at home, if you have an airbrush, it's going to be much the same. You're going to aim for the outside edges. And what's happening is the paint is bouncing off the edge. And it's catching and just filling the edge. So, you're getting hard lines where the paint um right it's the italian drip when i put my hand anyways um so shelly i know you are under exaggerating and i love it so you're aiming for the edge and letting the paint bounce off. And the closer you are to the foot or the lip of the cup, when you hit the edge, that's gonna give you your harsher lines. And then that fade, that haze that's in there is from just all the paint that's, you're okay, in, in the cup. And just depositing on the surface. So right now he's doing airbrush, but as you can see, it doesn't look that much different from the ones he did with spray paint. So if you just have spray paint, by all means, go for it. But in order to control your flow, I would recommend using a cap that's like this one. Mm. This is a German thin. Or the Klaus cap, because my dad was German. Um, Look at that. <gasps> It's so Christmassy. That's so crazy. Like this was yellow and it just turned green. Translucent yellow over black will turn green 100% of the time. It'll stay yellow until it hits that black. And then go green. That's so crazy. Hey Lori, welcome. And so if you need, I have spray paint cap sets on my website that come complete with the adapter that you need for everything that's not like a, a graffiti cap. Thank you, Clara, for posting a link to the caps. The paint that Jeff's using is translucent. I haven't, Carol, last, did, I, did you order one? Last I checked, you couldn't um, get the order to go through on the website or something. I, I have it done, I have it made, obviously you watched it being painted, but um, you were having trouble ordering it on the website. And so let me know. Oh, you just covered it? Oh, you PayPal'd it? Okay. Then I will, um, I'll ship it off in the morning for you. Yeah, it takes some practice not to move your, uh... 
It even Look looks up. like there's a shadow behind it. Cause I guess maybe because of your placement. And so these ones being lighter, they're like in the background. I got you, Carol, I trust you. Yeah. Everyone's saying super cool and yeah. love it. Oh, Clara already ordered some caps. I love it. Thank you so much, Clara. This is so cool. I agree. And so the key is just three little psh, psh, psh on the edges. And then if you want to go back with airbrush and put color, then you could. I'm trying to get you guys in there. I like how that looked. Like, there, that, whatever I did. Which one? Oh my God. Like, it looked like. I, I, it's hard to, especially with these paper cups. But look, I like how it's like. There's a bubble inside of a bubble, and that's what this one did, but I, I shouldn't have even messed with it. Let's try this one. This is this a, a practice one. piece, or do you have plans for it? Came in a little late after you probably said. This is actually just a proof of concept piece. Um, Jeff painted this board black just to show you guys this technique. Um, it's not even cradled. It's just a, I think it's one of our shelves from the dust-free zone, actually, if I'm honest. Yeah. But that one looks good because it looks like it's pinching right there. I love that they're all so different. Funny that I, I didn't do anything until I fell in love. Then I got super creative with resin and pigments. Also watching you guys was super inspiring. Now she left me and I don't make art anymore again weird i'm sorry um sometimes um being in a relationship can definitely help your creativity and your inspiration jeff was in a serious artistic rut when we met and it has gotten better so just know that it, it gets better there's so much paint going around, like, and it's... Also, we're here for you. Spray paint, there's more paint coming out and less air. Not sharing, Christy. Um, would it look different if the board were laid flat? So, Kathy, if the board were laid flat, um, you would get more of this splattery look from um, paint just dribbling out of the um, the spray bottle, spray ball, spray cap, airbrush. Nope, spray cape. Help me with words, spray paint. I wanna do that. So, B, you think it's easier with the spray paint? Well, maybe, hold on, I'm gonna try to go. I'm, I'm gonna, so let's, like, let's say this was the inside, what I'm looking at, I'm gonna try to point right here, like on the inside of this cup. I'm not gonna point up here, I'm gonna point right here, just so I can make. Okay, so you're aiming for yes, that for instead area, of the rim? Instead of the rim, yeah. Okay. I think that's just gonna make it solid whitish this i'm gonna go just for the rim on this bottom part okay Ooh. see look at that you see what that does like what what do you think is making this outline that is it from you pinching the cup and it just i don't know i'm not pinching it at all like i'm i'm literally like i'm i so if you pinch the cup and it De it moved it then when you put the cup down it would leave a rim so it's definitely not from the rim shifting. i think it's just the bounce off bounce has to off, be yeah 
it's bouncing off. It's still hitting this, but it's probably going up um, up on the inside of the cup and just doing this little weird Is there a, a lip on the inside like this? Mm -mm. No. That has to be the bounce. Are you aiming for the edges again? Just the just the middle part, kind of. Yep, that doesn't look right. This cup is so wonky. Look how fun that looks. It's super fun. It looks glowy. Thank you, Genevieve, by the way. Love the name. Genevieve. I think then you just let them dry if you want to go in and do like a little boop. I guess if you want, I don't know. Does it look good like that? No, no the dots aren't a thing, B. They're like... Mash beta. That looks more bubbly. You yeah, like this one? That. Hit the thumbs up for the ATD fam. Thank you for the reminder. We're doing Saturn now with a pearl necklace. Yeah. It's rave Saturn. Ooh, we're going halo. Uh, a tiara. Crown. <laughs> hey. I want to try one. This but you're going to have to hold this when you're done. I can see an old school bath. A lady and lots of bubbles in the future. That would be a great. I don't want to do that part. I want to do this part. I'm like super aiming for the edges. Oh, you're actually painting the cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like that one. You could just only go for the edges and it would be just that little like mm -hmm. faint look. Oh. So it's got sputter. Oh, that looks good, though. So that's kind of the difference if you're aiming for the sides versus the piece. On all, on the one that I just did, I was aiming for, like, you can see where I hit it. It was, like, right here. Mm -hmm. And then right there. Yeah. You. Yeah. Okay, just one more second. But you don't want to go all the way around because you want to have that like definite that's where the paint hits. Yeah. So like beom, beom, beom. Beom, beom. Do you want to do another one? What's up, hobby? I just made that. I just wanted you to know. I just made that. looks like there's super sunny on the top of it so when I was in college and we had like our drawing classes and they're like make a sphere with a gradual shadow with a light source 
If I'd have just done this, it would have been a quick and easy trip. But no. Time to get fancy. I think this process would look super cool on a cornhole board. Thank you, Clara. That makes me want bubblegum ice cream. No, I think it's like, what was it called? It's not Fruit Loops. It's not Fruit by the Foot. Fruit Roll Ups. It reminds me of Fruit Roll Ups. Are you putting Twinkles? What's up, Sherry? <laughs> it's like super glowy on camera. Oh, good. Such a steady hand. I know. Kind of brilliant with an airbrush. I am great. I hope you are as well, Sherry. <gasps> what if you end up doing hats with bubbles on them? So, nope, then. I covet his hand. Same. And painting white on black really picks up every little misstep. Every little knot stopping. Wow. It says super easy. That looks really hard. So, <laughs> that part. That's airbrush. Here. This is the super easy deal. <clears throat> check, check, check it out. I'm going to put, I'm going to change it to say, do a bubble with three. Because he goes, pss. Bam, bubble, super easy. All this is just extra business, but the bubbles in general, three little spritzies, maybe four. See, hitting the sides right here gives it this, like this solid, but then because it's going kind of down and out, I think it's because this is kind of coming out. You know, it has this like, Rounded so it gives it that little bitty. The lip 
Yeah. Yeah. It's very, very easy. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know about those big. Yeah, I'll be all right. Big blurbers. I guess it would need to be up here because that's where the light would be. Spray lightly with color, then hit it with the three white spritz. Okay. We'll do that for you because we do the test. So Bowie doesn't have to. It's not, I'm not like so proud, but I'm super proud. If you turn the cup around, would that help? Um, we actually oh, like oh, no. that little bump shadow. So just do some color? Yeah. And then hold it there and then do white. Oh, thank you, Sherry. She says you are both so, so talented. Mm, yeah. It is more buble colored. If you're gonna overlap the bubbles, I think this is a very good idea. Mm. You and your big blobs. I guess I just want that highlight. This is my favorite of all the big blobs. Or just go. This is a strike. Maybe I, oh, I did. I just hit that. I didn't even hit the board. Yep, yep, yep. Erica, you know you like the drips. It's true. I can't even hide it. It's no shame. I do love the drips. And I really, I like this, like, slight blue glow, Clara. So it's a great idea to do just a hint of color first. And then do the white over it because that makes it not so um abrasive of the white it's not so stark i think it's super fun not very difficult dare i say super easy are you guys gonna give it a shot Jeff is using one of the caps from our spray cap collection. This is a German Thin or the Klaus. And um, it just gives you really good can control. And it's a low pressure can. Yeah, it's like a low pressure cap to where the paint's just not coming out like as if you were to have a, a stock cap. Mm hmm because then it something like this would be way worse and more consistent with the well stock it would just cap. be it would be so much paint yeah it'd be hard to do this soft design it looks like that champagne gold has stock cap on it and the clear has stock cap Why don't you just use the champagne gold one and just do it? It's still a, male, a girl it's cat. Huge. Oh, here you go. Well, this is Vaspar, so Vaspar. See that? See the difference? <laughs> like I, I'm a lot of barely paint. coming back from that. On a big one, it's probably not as detrimental. If you're working on smaller bubbles, it's gonna be a lot different. Also, Jeff has real, real good can control, so don't let him fool you. This almost works better just because of that. <laughs> That little cat, let's see. Oh, we'll leave this on. Here. 
I just want to show them the difference between the. Hmm. That cab's probably dirty now. Um. It's all right. What's up, Evelyn? Can you guys hear me or no? Okay, can you guys hear me now? Okay, good. Sorry, it was from all the calls. Anyways, um, I hope you like this quick tutorial and you can see the difference in the caps and the paint. This is with the regular cap. No, that, and a regular with, paint. Oh, this, this is the Valspar. The, the Valspar paint is just terrible. And then this is with the... And it has the adapter on it, too. Um, Montana. Anyways, I hope you guys decide to give this super easy, super quick bubble using spray paint in a cup a shot. Remember, for a subtle bubble like this one... You need to hit the edges and for a more stark colored bubble like this, aim more towards the center instead of around the rim. You can see on this one, just for a quick recap, where I've hit the, um, the bucket. So essentially the higher up you are in your cup or bucket, um, the softer your bubble will be and the closer to this rim on the base you hit the um, more stark it's going to be. So higher on the bucket is softer, lower in the bucket is more stark. So I hope you guys have an awesome evening. We are going to go see a movie, Haunted Mansion. Hope you guys have a great evening. Be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the tests. So Bowie doesn't have to because he doesn't need to because he's precious baby. This has been a great tutorial. Don't know that I'm brave enough to try it though. Oh my goodness, you should totally try it. All you need is spray paint and a bucket. Just cut the other end of it and just go psh, 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 and then you're a bubble master. Boom, bing, bang, boom, science. All right, you guys, till tomorrow. Um, I already said the things. All right, so, um, Mayana, bye. Did you say bye, Bobo? You did. You sit up so I can see your tum tum tum. No? Okay. Do it, try it on cardboard. Y'all are amazing.